Hi, I'm Oriana Leo with the Red Carpet Report. Today we're in Beverly Hills for the fourth and final season premiere of Banshee. Oh my gosh, well, Hello. I've been talking about you because the, the hashtag Bunker Babes are out there. You know, Bunker Babes? Uh, yeah, did you not know about this? No, okay, know. well, we're major fans of your character. Yeah. Um, I did have that conversation around a campfire that there is such thing as a hot Nazi, you. <laughs> um, so can you tell us anything about your character's development over this season? I mean, I know you can't spoil it, but it's been so emotional since you came on board, your storyline. Yeah, well, uh, this season I feel like we get a good look into Bunker's life as it relates to his brother. Mm. You know, so we get a bit of the backstory, we get a bit of the history, and we get, you know, to really kind of face the Nazi issue head on, which it kind of flew under the radar a bit, you know, in season three. How did you feel when the season, when it was announced that it was going to be over? What went through your mind? Uh, I was sad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were all sad, I think. I mean, it's a great group of people, you know, and you have people like Matt Servito and Frankie Faison who have done this a million times, and even they say this is a special Sorry. show and a good group, you know, because at the end of the day, oh, you're, uh, <laughs> You know, there's Greg Tanis, our boss. Uh, <laughs> hey, Greg. Um, but when you're spending, you know, 16 hours a day with people, sure. it's kind of important. It sounds like everyone has really bonded. Is there a way to stay in touch? I was just asking Rianna. Is there a way to stay in touch after this wraps? I know the magic is gone, but do those friendships remain, do you think? Yeah, well, in this case, they have so far. You know, in, in I, I live in New York, so I see Servito and Roush. You know, not all the time, but we, we make it a point to go out of our way to, you know, stay in touch. And Ant uh, is up filming in Canada right now, so him and I play Words with Friends. <laughs> awesome. I told him that we Who's were going to Who's the winner? Him. He's killing me, but he's, I, don't, I think he's cheating somehow. He's gotten so much better. There is a dictionary that you can look up to cheat, just yeah, FYI. Ant, I'm on like, to you. <laughs> yeah. We're both on you, Ant. But he said, oh, I'll, I'll be there in spirit. Okay. And I said, I'll make sure everyone knows that your spirit is sitting okay. on my lap tonight. Spirit is in your lap. And <laughs> before we go, we're going to have to get our Brock's beard photo. Uh, yeah. One more. <laughs> Whenever, I hear Matt is, it, Matt is Sam's beard, so yeah, we're really we're looking forward recognize. to that. I can't wait to watch the screening. We'll hang out a little later. Awesome. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this interview, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and leave a comment for me below. Who's your favorite character on Banshee? Mine is Job forever. Until next time, I'm Oriana Leo with the Red Carpet Report.